Well, this wonderful friendship agreement could bring uh, benefits for everybody. It can bring benefits for friendship, bring uh, benefits for commerce, tourism, uh, sport, lots of other uh, educational initiatives can be brought with this agreement. I actually got recruited to head a School of Communication and Creative Industries in 2013 and um, 2016 I became the head of campus so I moved from Adelaide to Bathurst without knowing much about Bathurst and then came to say thank God I made a decision to come here so it's a fantastic place to be. My name's Candice Boggs and I'm the Executive Officer at the Western Region Academy of Sport. There's 11 academies um, that cover New South Wales and basically to sum it up we provide opportunities for pre-elite athletes in the Western Region. My name is Christopher Morgan and I work here at Abercrombie House and I'm, my family own this old mansion and we look after it and maintain it and we're the custodians of it. My name is Sarah Driver and I'm the Youth Mayor of Bathurst. Um, I've been part of the Youth Council for three years and I go to All Saints College Bathurst. I'm Tony Hatch. Um, I own this winery. I'm the winemaker. Make wine, bottle it, try and sell it. Bathurst is a great place. Bathurst is a place 200 kilometres west of Sydney, uh, in the central west of New South Wales. Uh, it has a fine climate, uh, warm in the summer, not too hot and quite cool in the winter. We get beautiful spring and we also get magic autumns. We have wonderful autumn colours here. The most memorable time for me was actually 2015, during the bicentenary celebration, when I saw the whole city of Bathurst alive with so many people, so many activities. I mean, yes, it was really the time I said, wow, this place is alive. Earlier this year, I signed up to the St. Pat's League Tag Team and we just had a really fun season, really welcoming club and a good bunch of people. And we ended up winning the Group 10 Premiership, which was a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm a Bathurst boy, really. Grew up here, fell in love with the place as a boy and loved the way that Bathurst is a nice, blend between a regional economy and a rural landscape. It would have to be autumn or winter, but only winter if it snows. So it makes me fall to autumn because I love all the colours of the trees that are down the lanes and streets and it's just really pretty. <laughs> Spent a lot of time up here um, over the years and, and eventually uh, I thought, yeah, I'd like to have a little farm up here. So I bought this place. After a couple of years living up here, I thought, why bother? <laughs> you know, so I, I really like Bathurst. The Earl and Countess Bathurst came here in 2015 to celebrate our bicentenary. In 1815, Lachlan Macquarie, who was the governor of New South Wales at the time, arrived here on the banks of the river. And on the 7th of May, he raised the flag and named the settlement Bathurst after the third Earl Bathurst, Henry Bathurst, who was the Home Secretary at the time. Sometimes I use the metaphor of an onion without you know, the, without the tears because there are layers and layers of history and innovation in this city that people don't know about. I mean, think about uh, what we now call the Bathurst 1000 mile panorama. I mean, it's part of the sacred history of the Wiradjuri people, which used to be a place of initiation into manhood. Now, the transformation from that to the contemporary initiation of the young people into car racing, into sports, I mean, that's a, is an innovative type of historical transformation. The most memorable part would have to be when I was on my L's, I did my first flight around in Panorama, and I was really scared. <laughs> you know, I, I love the car racing. The February motor racing, which brings prestige cars uh, you know, world-class cars to the racing circuit is a fantastic spectacle. I love that. I like autumn. I guess coming from the coast where I used to live, you'd kind of go straight from summer into winter and you didn't really get the autumn experience. So driving around Bathurst in autumn, there's just so many colours around the town. And making a good wine is always uh, a good feeling. Um, when you taste it and it's something special, yeah, that, that, that's always very memorable. Think of the university itself, is a history from, if you think about the beginning of the Bathurst Agricultural Experimental Farm, which was to feed the nation, to a university now that actually boasts as the producer of Australia's 
highest employment graduates. So in a, in a way, Bathurst has got everything to celebrate. I like the Winter Festival. Um, I think in winter people can sort of get in a bit of a slump and um, you know, want to stay inside pretty much all winter where it's nice and warm. So the Winter Festival is really good. It brings a bit of excitement to town. Um, the light shows that they've got reflecting on the buildings are great and just some fun things to do. The ice skating rink and some um, food and drink carts come and yeah, I think it just adds a bit of excitement to Bathurst in winter. It would be the Winter Festival because we hold the ice skating rink, the hot, warm cocoa down Church Bar Lane, uh, the Ferris wheel, and it's just a wonderful time of year. The, the point where rural New South Wales meets the city, there's, there's a really nice, charming thing about that. So, I mean, you know, I love it all. We did a big uh, jazz festival earlier this year out in the, uh, out in the vineyard, uh, which, which worked really well. That sort of thing is great for Bathurst, great for us, and, um, I think provides some really good opportunities for the citizens of Bathurst. The friendship arrangement will promote awareness, communication and enthusiasm with all the people in Bathurst and in Sirencester. It's a very environmentally friendly place and to me I love my walks and along the river it actually calms you down and of course there are so many parks around, I take my kids around to play in the park, the Makete Park, the Dinosaur Park and of course uh, the Botanic Garden in the city. So there's quite a lot. It's a very family friendly place. You will never go wrong. It's good to just go out for breakfast, I think. It, there's a lot of really nice cafes around that have some really good food and coffee. Um, or just grab a coffee in the warmer months and walk around the river downtown. It's a really nice setting down there and good to just get out and go for a walk. Well, the economy is booming and therefore there's plenty of opportunities for employment here. The cost of housing is much lower than it is in the big metropolis. Uh, we're close enough to Sydney now to be within reach of it uh, really easily. And in the information age, uh, there's no real difference between outer suburban Sydney and regional centres like Bathurst. My favourite thing to do in Bathurst uh, would be sitting in the park eating Annie's ice cream, particularly Safala Gold, because uh, it's definitely the best flavour, and sitting in the trees with a group of friends. Uh, I urge everyone to, to go for a drive out in the, in the country. It's, uh, it's pretty nice out here. Thank the people of Bathurst for uh, being part of this with the town of Sirencester. We're so looking forward to uh, an agreement that will develop in the future in so many different ways. Uh, Sirencester has a long, long history, much, much deeper than uh, Bathurst's European history, but we're looking forward to meeting the people, to greeting the people and forming a, a friendship that will go on for many years into the future.